Welcome back to the channel. This video is all about dynamically generating your title tag text, depending on whether you're on the home page or another page on the website. In this video, you'll learn how to create a custom site configuration, which exports variables. You'll learn how to import the custom configuration from that file. You'll dynamically generate the title tag text using ternary operators and also template literals. To get started with the video, you'll need to have the latest version of Node.js installed and Visual Studio Code set up with the Astro plugin. I've left a copy to the completed tutorial source code in the video's description below. So we're going to start with a new Astro project. We're going to use npm create Astro and that will start us off with a template. The first thing it asks is where we'd like to store the new project. I'm going to use video astro dynamic title and this will be created inside the folder that we're currently in with the shell so make sure you've opened up the shell in the folder where you would like to create your new project we're going to use the few best practices starter and then it's going to ask us if we'd like to download the node dependencies you can use npm install or the package manager of your choice. I'm just going to hit Y to download the dependencies. And then it asks us if we'd like to initialize the git repository. We can initialize a new git repository with the command git init or we can just hit Y and it does it for us. I'm going to choose relaxed for the TypeScript setup as it's not a major focus of this video tutorial. And then let us know that we need to CD into the directory that's just been created and we can start working on our new Astro project. So I've opened up the folder in Visual Studio Code. First thing we'll do is we'll go down to npm scripts and we'll run the dev server and we'll just check that everything's working properly in the browser before we continue. We'll control click on the link and you can see everything's working. We'll then go about setting up the title so it's dynamically generated depending on the page we're on. So we'll go into the source directory and pages. And there's our index page for index.html. We'll copy and paste that and then we'll rename it to test. And then what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll get rid of some of the content. So we'll get rid of those cards, remove the card import. And we'll put in a title. So what we'll do in the title variable for the title of the page and then for the title that gets passed to the layout for that title and we'll create a const title equals test page and then we'll save that and then we'll just change our message here put in some lorem ipsum so now we've got our test page set up So we'll go back to the browser and we'll just check that that's working. So up in the address bar, we'll put in a slash test. We'll see we've pulled up the test page and the title of the test page has been pulled into the layout and is used for the title tag. But we can go one step further than that. So if you look in your layout folder and the layout component, you'll see that the title is being placed in the title tag and that's getting pulled in from Astro Pops. And you'll see here in the layout component, that's where our title is being sent through. So what we'll do now is in the source folder, we'll create a new file and we'll call it config.ts. And in here, we're going to define some configuration items that we're going to use for generating our title. That way you can update them easily in this file especially if you're using this as a template for multiple websites. So we'll do export const site title and we'll call it astro site and then we'll export another constant and we'll call it home slogan and that'll be the text that sits next to the site title on the home page. We'll call that innovative SSG 
And because we're in a TypeScript file.ts and not a JavaScript file, we can use type annotation. And that's where we set these constants to a particular type of variable so that only that type will be passed through, otherwise an error will be thrown. So because we're passing strings through for both of these variables, what we can do, I'll click after both the variable names, put in a colon, and then we'll set it to string. And then if we try and set that to something other than a string, a warning will come up with our Astro plugin. By default, Astro will not check for that at build time. It's only something that's going to happen with our Astro plugin with the default setup. So we'll go to our layout.astro, and we have to import these two constants. So we use import, and we need to put in some curly braces. The first one is site title, comma, home slogan, from, go up one level, and config. And we'll save that, and now those two variables are accessible. So what we'll do is we'll set up a constant called path. I'm on the docs page here for the API reference and we're looking at astro.url. So we need to get the path name. We can get that with astro.url.pathname. So we'll copy that and I'll leave a link to this page in the description below also. So then I'll Place that in. We've now got access to the path name of the current page, and we'll do a const title text. We're going to use a ternary operator. And the first part of the ternary operator is the condition, and then if it's true, we'll return what's after the question mark, and then if it's false, we'll return what's after the colon. So the condition we're looking at will be that path is strictly equal to a slash, and that's for the home page. And then if we're on the home page, we want the title text to be the site title followed by the home slogan. So we're going to use template literals, and we use backticks to delineate them. So we're going to insert the site title variable. We do that with a dollar sign and some curly braces. Then we'll do a space dash space, and then we'll insert the home slogan with a dollar sign and some curly braces. And then if we're not on the home page, that's if the condition returns false, we'll do another template literal and we'll do the page title, space dash space, and then we'll do the site title. And you can configure that any way you like, but ultimately if you want to change the information for your site title, your home slogan, you'll do it in your config.js and you can change your template around here. And we'll use, we'll save that and we'll use Alt Shift F to format if you've got the Astro plugin installed. We'll then go down to the title and we'll change that to title text. So the title text will be pulled into the title tag. So currently on the test page, you can see it's coming up with the page name and then the site name, which is exactly how we configured it. And then we'll go back to the home page and you'll see we've got the site title and then the slogan. And what we had set up for the test page, that will happen based on whatever page you're on. The title of the page will be displayed before the site title. So that's it for the video. If you liked it, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you're notified of my regular coding tutorials.